Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. This is now um, I'm going to answer a question from a C2 paper from the old papers, the old GCE at Excel papers, which are now being replaced by C12 and C34. This is C2, June 2016. I'll call them legacy because of the older ones. And um, we're going to do question number five, which is about binomial expansion. So 5A. Uh, we're asked to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x. Okay, the binomial expansion of the four, of this particular expression, 2 minus 9x to the power of 4. So we're starting off and giving each term in its simplest form. So we start off with 2 minus 9x to the power of 4. Now, there are different methods that people use, and one of the most popular methods that people use in C2 and AS is called the NCR method. Okay, where you can find the coefficient of um, each of the terms by using your calculator and the NCR button. Okay, however, I personally do not like to use this method. Okay because of various reasons. One of the reasons is in C3 and C4. C4, I think it is. Um, we're going to have to use binomial expansion for powers which are fractions and negative numbers for which the NCR button won't work. So in C3 and C4, you're going to have to use okay, this method, which is basically, I'll write down the general formula up here so you can see it. And this is something that's actually not difficult to memorize. And even if you don't memorize it, it's actually given to you in the formula book. Okay, even for C2. And basically what it is, 1 plus x to the power of n, it will expand as 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed and so on with that same pattern. So that becomes squared and that's 2 factorial cubed 3 factorial n times n minus 1, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on. Okay, and the uh, the power here okay, is the same as this factorial. Okay, and you'll see that it just continues with this basic pattern. And the n is the power and the x is whatever term is in this area here. But one thing you must be very careful to realize is that this number here in the bracket must be a 1. We must have a 1 in this in this place. Okay? And um, if there's not a 1 in this place, we must make it into a 1. So over here, we see we've got a 2, not a 1. So I want to make it into a 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to write it as, as follows. <clears throat> we're going to write it as follows. We're going to take out this 2 as a factor. So this is how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to take out 2 as a factor. So I'll write 2. I'm writing a bracket to keep everything enclosed. 2. If I take 2 out, it's not really a factor, but I'm just taking the 2 out so, that, so I get a 1 here, because 2 times 1 is 2. Then I've got to write this term so that when I multiply the 2 by it, I'm going to get 9x. Right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write 9 over 2x. When I multiply 2 by 9 over 2, I get 9. Exactly what I want here. Okay, and all of that is to the power 4. If I multiply out this bracket, I'll get 2 minus 9x, okay, all to the power 4. This is exactly the same as that. Why did I do this? Because in the formula, I want to have a 1 in this position. Okay, so that gives me 2 to the power of 4, and 1 minus 9 over 2x to the power of 4. Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So you have 16 times 1 minus 9 over 2x to the power of 4. Okay, so now we're going to expand this using our pattern that we got up there. So you have 16. That 16, always write it there, otherwise you'll forget about it. Then you have 1 plus nx. So it's 1 plus nx. Now, n is the 4. And x is this whole term, including the minus sign. So it's going to be, that's n times x, which is minus 9 over 2x. Okay, plus, and then you've got 
n times n minus 1 times x squared over 2 factorial. So n, which is 4, times n minus 1, which is 3, times x squared, which is minus 9x over 2 squared over 2 factorial, which means 2 times 1. 2 factorial means 2 times 1. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1. 100 factorial means 100 times 99 times 98 times 97, duh, 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 all the way back to times 1. Okay? Now, it says here, giving, find the first, how many terms? Did it say the first three terms? The first three terms. There are, there are the first three terms. Okay? There's going to be more terms, but they only want the first three terms. That's the first term, that's the second term, that's the third term. Of course, you've got to simplify it. So that's going to give us 16 times 1 plus, now here the 4 and the 2 cancel out. So you're going to have, let's get the plus first, let's, you're going to have minus, actually, you're going to have minus 2 times eight, 9, which is minus 18x. And here you're going to have the minus, it's going to get squared. So that's going to still be a plus. The 4 and the 2 cancel out gives you a 2. So you have 2 times 3 is 6. I'm not going to, um, you know, do it all in one go because I want to expand these first. I want to square these. So that's minus 9 squared, which gives you 81. So 81x squared over 2 squared is 4. Be very careful that you don't make mistakes here. Okay? So I need some more space. Let me just do these things down. Okay, so we have this will cancel. Okay, you're going to have 4 and 6. Okay, now let's just expand this. You've got 16 times 1, which is 16. 16 times minus 18. You can take out a trusty calculator. A little bit of time left. So you have 16 times 18. Gives us 288. You have minus 288x. And then you've got 16 times 3 times 81 over 2. So basically you're going to get 8 times 3 times 81. But I'll just put it all together. You've got 16 times 3 times 81 and divided by 2. That would give me 1944. Okay, plus, plus 1944x squared. And there we have the expansion of that particular bracket. Okay, and that should be our answer. And I'm going to do part uh, B in the second part of this video, which will follow very shortly. Thank you for watching and see you soon.